Hello everybody. I'm going to do a very basic presentation on a couple of settings uh, of the Spooky. I um, had a request for some clarification. So I am going to um, do this with a video. I tried doing this in an email. Uh, way too much work. Too much explanation is necessary. The cliche is a picture is worth a thousand words. Here's my picture device. I'll be displaying what I'm talking about on the screen of my oscilloscope. So I have a spooky right here that's turned off. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to go over a couple of parameters. So it's loading up and it's loading up and it just turned on and it defaulted to a sine wave and that looks like about 10,000 hertz and so forth. So I'm going to show you the screen and you can take a look at it. Let's see if I can hold it still enough, long enough so it gets a good copy. Come on, focus. All right, doesn't want to focus. I guess I just can't get too close. Okay. Sorry for wasting that time. All right, so you can see that channel one, I'm going to just use channel one for now. Channel one has um, 10,000 hertz frequency. It's got an amp two to five volts. It's got zero offset. It's got a duty cycle of 50% and a phase of zero. Let's take the frequency first. And that should be self-explanatory, I guess is a good word. Um, it says 10,000, which is 10 kilohertz, just another way of saying 10,000. And it's a sine wave. Now, just a couple of quick things about a sine wave. Sine wave has a positive aspect and a negative aspect as it comes out of your mains or your wall outlet. And in this case here in the U.S., that peak voltage that I'm pointing to right now with the uh, pencil it is roughly 160 volts. And that's a peak voltage of 160 volts from the middle of this waveform. The middle is at zero potential and the bottom is minus 160 volts. So between the bottom and the top in the US that is roughly 320 yeah 160 yeah 320 volts from peak to peak. Now there's a um, another value that people talk about with the mains the stuff that comes out of your wall outlet and that is what is the average voltage or the RMS voltage to say it more correctly. So they talk about in Europe and Australia and New Zealand and so forth they talk about having 220 mains, 220 volt mains. Here in the United States we talk about having 110 volt mains. Um, and so everything runs off 110 volts in the United States and, and in Europe and some of the other countries it runs off of 220 volts. So, and it looks just like this. It looks like a sine wave. Now, a sine wave has a very important um, uh, categorization, and that's called the root mean square voltage. And when somebody says they have 220 volt mains, they are talking about the root mean, M-E-A-N, square voltage. It's some jargon that some engineer came up with. Actually, there's a real good reason why they named it that way, but regardless. And this sine wave, although it is, uh, could be representative of what's coming out of the wall outlet, it's not. It's coming out of my spooky right now. It has an RMS value that is roughly 0 0.707 of the peak. So I'm not going to go through the equations. I'm just going to tell you that on a 160 volt peak uh, signal, um, the root mean square is somewhere around 110, 120 volts. And so when people talk about what comes out of their mains and they say it's 110 or 220 or whatever, they're talking about the root mean square voltage. And that is from the center line of this sine wave, 0 0.707 up the line somewhere in here where I'm cutting off the peak is the root mean square voltage and that's the voltage that uh, we talk about coming out of our mains. Now we're talking about a spooky and my spooky is set up to an amplitude of 5 volts. 
So that means that from the top to the bottom, one, two, three, four, I have five volts. It's five volts peak to peak. That's all we need to know about. If I change that value to 10 volts, you'll see that uh, peak to peak go up higher. In fact, I'll do that. I'll change it to, well, I don't know. I'll just go to select my spooky channel one, and I'll go to amplitude, and I'll dial it up. See how it just increased? I'm turning the dial, turning the dial. It's getting bigger and bigger, and I can go right off the screen. It's flat topping. So right now, I have it set for 8 volts, and it goes from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. That's 8 volts. So when I talk about amplitude on a, a spooky, I'm talking about from the bottom of the way pattern to the top. Now I want to cover a couple of other things that are very important to understand. Wave patterns, this is a wave. It doesn't always have to be in a sine wave, a sinusoidal wave, an up and down, sweeping up and down. It can also be in a different configuration. And from your spooky, you can create a sine wave, a triangle wave, or a square wave. And square waves are very popular in a lot of the uh, software protocols in spooky. Um, the plasma ball that um, comes, I developed um, works best with a square wave. Well, I'm going to dial in square wave, and I'm going to show you the spooky. Uh, hopefully, I'll show you the spooky and stay still long enough so it'll focus. Not the best focus in the world. You got to focus. Come on, camera, autofocus. Very sluggish today. Come back a little further. Can you find it? There you go, autofocus. I'm going to change the that sine wave, which is the very top parameter on the spooky, I'm pointing to it, the one that's highlighted. I'm going to change that. I'm going to dial in a um, wave. I just dialed in a square wave. Now you can see, now you can see a little square wave up and down wave. You can also see it here on my screen, and I can change that to a triangle wave just by rotating the dial. Now I change it to a triangular wave. These are the three main type of ways the spooky, um, uh, what it generates, straight from the f functioning here with these controls and buttons. Also, the software can do the same thing. Anything I can do with my hands by pressing buttons and turning no knobs, the software can do automatically. I want to talk about a square wave, so I'm going to dial, dial in the square wave. Now this square wave is also, let's see where I left, left it. It's at 6 volts peak to peak. So from, from here to here, from top to bottom, it is 6 volts. And this, this I'm going to introduce a new train, uh, term. It's called duty cycle. And on your spooky, you'll see the word duty. And I'm going to try to point to it and, uh, on channel 1. Oops, right there. Right where that eraser is, that word is duty. And it says 50% on my uh, spooky. And what that means is, is that it's 50% high and down 50%. No matter what the frequency is, if I'm going up and down one time a second, which is one cycle per second, when I have a 50% duty cycle, I'm on 50% of the time, I'm off 50% of the time. This is a very important term to acknowledge and know about when running the plasma ball under spooky control. The plasma ball does not like to see anything better or greater than a 20% duty cycle. What is a 20% duty cycle? Well, let me dial it in and I'll show you. I'm going to go to the um, section on the spooky that allows me to adjust that number that presently is at 50%, and I just dialed it down to 40%. Um, and I just dialed it down to 20%. That means that in a cycle of up and down, 20% of the time it's high and 80% of the time it's low. And we only need to define and talk about one of the percentages. I don't have to say that, oh, my duty cycle is set to 2080. No, I can just say 20%. And I can always mentally subtract 20 from 100 and say, okay, it's down. It's, it's, it's down at the lower level 80% um, of the time. So that's what duty cycle is all about. And 
it can be very important for different parameter settings on different devices but I'm explicitly referencing the spooky uh, not the spooky but the plasma ball the six inch plasma ball uh, that's provided by Aurora Sky um, that it likes to see a duty cycle no larger than 20 percent isn't that amazing you can go larger um, but you certainly can't go lar much larger because there's a thermal switch inside the plasma ball that will get hot if it's overrun or if you're driving the power transistor inside that circuit too much and that you will do under certain conditions and it just trips and says okay I'm gonna to have to cool down and it shuts everything down for a while real pain if you don't understand what's going on you'll say gee my spoke my my plasma ball keeps shutting off and it's because you're overdriving it alright so I just explained two things one that the spooky has three basic type of frequencies it can also do others but the three main type are square wave triangular wave and sine wave I've mentioned in this video that the plasma ball that we use in fact I have one right here I'm gonna reach over and grab one ah, my plasma ball my six inch plasma ball um, likes to run with a duty cycle of 20% or less and that happens to go in where I'm pointing now into the black second channel on this on the plasma ball that's uh, information that's uh, in detailed on the um, uh, plasma ball website with videos and pictorials and um, some PDFs talking about that but right now I'm really just talking about some very basics in the spooky I'm just using my plasma ball as an example device to work with now this square wave as we see it on the oscilloscope um, is going up and down around zero volts its peak to peak voltage is goes from minus three to plus three so from top to bottom it's six volts and zero volts is right in the middle and I want to introduce a new term here I want to introduce offset what is offset well I'm going to turn down this peak to peak so I can show you a little bit better I'm going to leave the, the duty cycle at 20 percent right now my duty cycle is at 20 I'll flash back to 50 just to give you that's 50 percent and I'm going to turn it back down to 20 20 percent and I'm also going to decrease the um, amplitude it doesn't have to be six volts I'm going to decrease it down to um, four volts right now I have that peak to peak from the bottom to the top is four volts and I'm going to show you what offset is all about on your spokey I'm going to point to it uh, up, 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 up. the eraser is pointing right over an offset that says zero it says zero 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 three zeros if I change this if I if I select offset I went right over it by accident and if I dial in I have my cursor sitting on it and dial it I just made it plus 100 and you'll notice something on the back here um, I lost my, my sine wave I mean my square wave but I can bring that back if I just sync on it there we go and I'm gonna go back to where it was zeros I just created a hundred percent offset in other words what I did is I, I raised that up that square wave so the bottom is zero volts and everything is referenced now from zero and it goes up uh, to four volts and comes back down to zero so offset shifts the voltage level of where the bottom of that waveform starts. Does it start at um, minus two volts, plus two volts, whatever? And I'm telling it I want it to start at zero and go only positive. And I want the amplitude to be, in this case, I've got four volts dialed. I want to start at zero, go up to four volts and that's what offset is all about and in the um, uh, plasma ball that I'm pointing to right here whoops I almost thought I knocked it over plasma ball um, I always use a hundred percent offset so that's the parameter that I'm changing um, move my racer up to it and you'll see a little positive sign next to that um, 
one zero zero percent means it's a hundred percent offset oh yes 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 I can go minus so I think I'll just do that while I'm here I'm going to change that parameter again I'm pointing to it I'm going to dial I'm back at zero and it just went to minus now my scope has to be adjusted the trigger has to be adjusted so we can see now you can see what happened Whoa, isn't that interesting when it's at its max voltage in relation to the whole waveform the max voltage is sitting at zero and now it's going down to minus four volts and if we look closely at the spooky you'll see a little minus sign in front of that offset number that's a minus 100 percent and yes I can dial anything in between zero and minus 100 or zero and plus 100 but I'm going to keep this video as short as I possibly can which is for me is pretty hard to do and, and I'm going to change this back to uh, a positive. We're going to resync the scope so we can see it. And that is the kind of waveform that I want you to control the, the plasma ball with. It's just one example. I want, I want a positive offset of 100% and I want um, a duty cycle of no more than 20%. And you can control that number, those numbers, in your software or manually like I'm doing just with a plane, no, no computer connected, just dial in and pressing buttons. You, can, you have that kind of control. So I've explained now basic waves. I've explained offset and duty cycle. And I had a request to cover those three parameters and hopefully I just did adequately. So this is a short video of some just very quick basics, and this will make my uh, explanation in an email a lot easier if this person watches um, uh, this video. I've talked about offset, duty cycle, and wave type, and this is a square wave type. Okay, thank you very much.